Yo, what's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. Everyone's having a good week. Today, I've got an excellent video for you. This one is a little bit different than normal though. It's a clothing haul, which you've come to expect from this channel. However, this one, every single item is from Walmart. So this is a sponsored video with Walmart. However, I chose every single item that I'm gonna show you here in this video. I had fun with this. They certainly have a wide range of trendy items and clean classic items like the shirt I'm wearing. If you see anything you like, you can check down in the description and buy it or shop around for something that you may like that's a little bit different than what I'm showing you here. I've got denim, I've got button up shirts, I've got polos, I've got little transition items, getting into fall, some sportswear. So a lot in this video, it's gonna be a good one. Let's dive into it right now. Okay, so we're gonna start things off with a popular trend right now, especially this summer, and that is camp and tie-dye shirts. This is a combo of both. So this is something I got for under $20 and I've been wanting to kind of dabble into these shirts. There has been some high-end designer shirts similar to this that have caught my eye and I just didn't really want to spend a lot of money on a shirt that is a style I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear enough. So I went ahead and I grabbed this shirt instead and I do like it. These style shirts are super lightweight. It adds a color pop to your outfit. I got a second one. This is the brand No Boundaries, which is exclusive to Walmart. And it's got this floral print, as you can see on the front, like super island vibes to it and wide open front collar. You don't see me wear these type of shirts too often. So I kind of wanted to go out on a limb and try something new that's trendy right now. Let me know if you guys get down with these style shirts. It's certainly something that I've seen a lot of people wearing this summer. Pretty cool look. It's definitely fun. It's young. So if that's your style, you can check it out. I'll link these for you guys. And I have so many items to show you in this video. I got to be quick with it. So we're going to roll on to the next one. Okay, next up, we have an absolutely fire Seattle Mariners batting practice jersey. This is Ken Griffey, that throwback retro Mariners jersey. This was under 75 bucks. So, and it's by Mitchell and S. So Walmart carries Mitchell and S products. There's a lot of brand names that Walmart carries that you might not know about. And if you're into sportswear, Mitchell and S is at the top of your list, obviously, and they carry it. So you can certainly get some deals on there by Mitchell and S. Like I've said a few times, I'm really into jerseys this summer and these baseball jerseys are no exception. You know, I wouldn't go full on matchy matchy with a jersey like this. I would keep it simple and clean. I'd go with some white Air Force Ones and it's just a cool retro look. Okay, next up, diving into menswear. And like I said, Walmart has a huge assortment of items. There really is something for everyone. So regardless if you're into streetwear, the newest trends, menswear, suiting, whatever it is, Walmart has you covered with those styles. And I like polos. I've worn a lot of polos this summer. So when I saw that they had these polos from Bonobos, I picked up two. I'm wearing the same exact one, just a different color. And typically these polos are a little bit pricey. I got both of these for under 50 bucks each. It's Supima cotton, so really nice quality on here. I've said this before, I did a whole video on polos. I think you can really spice it up just by looking for a shirt that has the added color pop or detail on the collar. Both of these colors are awesome. This is like this light grape color, and then the one I'm wearing is almost like a teal mint. Two polo colors that you really don't see that often. Another small detail I like on here, but really makes a difference, is there's four buttons on the front. Typically there's only two or three. So that added button allows you to undo one up top and it still stays kind of tight. If you're into menswear, check out these polos. Okay, next up we got a long sleeve t-shirt and this one is either acid washed or bleached. I believe it's acid wash. And if you want to add just a little bit something to your shirt without having a big logo on the front or anything, look into tie-dye shirts, look into acid wash shirts, looking to pigment dyed t-shirts. It's just another really cool style and a way to set your outfit apart from everyone else's without going super brandy. Okay, now let's dive into some fall stuff. So obviously it doesn't turn fall just overnight. There's a little bit of a transition period. So you need some long sleeve items that are still lightweight. You're not just throwing on your winter coat right out of the gate. So windbreakers are perfect for that. And that's what I've got right here. This is a retro style windbreaker. It's wide and it is certainly affordable. 
definitely get some windbreakers in the mix. Very lightweight, like this is just something you can keep in your trunk or your car anywhere and just throw it on if it gets a little breezy and you just need that extra layer. Most windbreakers have a draw cord at the bottom so that you can adjust the fit. This is a quarter length zip up top there and then obviously it has this bright orange kangaroo pouch in the front. This is retro right here. I mean, this just screams the 90s and you can get this for the low. I'm telling you, this is from No Boundaries and the fact that they had this windbreaker in like eight different colors, I just decided on this one because I want a little bit of color. I've got so much stuff in my closet that I tend to buy things that are more colorful right now because I've got all the essentials and basics down pat. Okay, next. These are my first denim feature of the fall, I guess you could say. You know, it's not quite denim weather where I'm at yet, but it'll be right around the corner, like in the next week or two. This is a jet black pair, and it's from the brand George. I've featured flannels by George that they sell at Walmart exclusively plenty of times in my videos. I've never featured their jeans though. So one thing I'll tell you right out of the gate, you know, I buy skinny jeans. Whatever your style is, whatever you like, whether it's slim, boot cut, wide leg, they've got it. However, I like skinny just because it looks good on my body type. Usually when you buy affordable skinny denim, it's super stretchy. It's like half elastine. There's no elastic give on these pants, like very little if any at all. So it feels like a true pair of jeans. Sometimes when you buy a pair of denim that is under 50 bucks, you're putting them on and you're like, you can't tell if this is like a pair of sweatpants or if they're jeans, because they're just so stretchy. This feels like a true pair of jeans, rugged denim. Price-wise, these are as low as it gets. That's the best part about low-priced, trendy items is you're giving it a try. You're seeing if it's your style or not. You know, maybe you don't wear it much and that's that. You didn't break the bank trying to do it. But if you do like it, you know, you can go from there. So next up, we got my first purchase from Dickies. So you guys have told me a lot. You gotta get something from Dickies. You gotta give Dickies a try, especially cause I like the rugged look in the fall. However, I just never bought a Dickies jacket or anything from them at all. So this is my first time doing so. This is their duck brown lined jacket. This is gonna be warm, I already know that. It's fleece on the inner lining. I like that it has a gold zipper, gives it a little bit of flair. There's a Dickies patch on the left side, two front pockets, there's also an additional pocket on the left sleeve. Something like this I'll definitely layer with a hoodie and it's perfect in the winter and fall. It's an absolute must. You need a jacket like this where I'm at. I feel like this look is still very in. A lot of high-end brands have copied just this basic Dickies jacket. So I had to go ahead and give it a try. They make it in black, other colors for sure. Around the wrist area, I really like that there's two buttons so you can make it a little tighter if you want to. For some reason, it bothers me when the wrist is loose. I don't know. So let me know if you guys get down with these Dickies jackets. All of these items will be linked down in the description. If there's something that you buy at Walmart often that I didn't feature here, let me know down in the comment sections because I definitely want to check it out. I'll be featuring more Walmart items and affordable stuff in future videos. So hit the comment section. Let me know what I should be picking up. Please hit that like if you enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you're new. And if you wanna see me wear some of this stuff, it'll pop up on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there. Thank you guys for checking this out. I'll catch you next time. Peace.